I am totally amused by this. No, it's me. This is totally amusing me. No, it's amusing me. No, me. No, no me. 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 It's no, I'm me. amused. I'm amused. No, Shut it's the me. hell up! Shelby, Tabitha, and Lisa all grew up together, and now they're being stalked. And what's even worse, they end up being captured, and now their lives are in danger. Hey, baby, it's me. The only lead that they have is it could be a boy they may have crossed when they were younger. And it's all because they didn't laugh at his sick little jokes. Will they be able to escape from this predicament? Or will they be held forever for this boy's amusement? Amusement was one of the horror movies I was looking forward to in 2008, but I didn't get to see it due to its limited release in theaters. Or the fact that it's a straight-to-DVD release. Uh, whichever the case may be, with its recent DVD release, I can finally see what I missed, which is a mixed bag. The story itself is not all that great and pretty confusing at times, but the way it unfolds is pretty interesting. Each of the girls has their own 15 to 20 minute story to show how they got captured. Three or four stories in one. This sounds like a great idea on paper, but in execution, I feel like all of these stories are just the best scenes of other horror movies and urban legends thrown together without the cohesiveness. Not to mention it has a villain with very questionable motives. The scenery, sets, and areas used are flat out beautiful. I love the way this movie looks, and the shots and the camera angles really get you into the scenes as they unfold. In stark contrast to the visual, the dialogue is absolutely terrible. There's nothing really quotable here, and the acting, for the most part, is pretty hokey. So if you're looking for a gorgeous movie with an interesting spin on the storytelling, this movie may amuse you. Just don't expect too much in the way of plot or dialogue. Anyone here have a clown phobia? You may not want to watch this next scene. Hello? Tabitha? It's Aunt Grace. Sorry to be calling so late, but you know. Yeah, no, no, it, it's okay. Oh, I didn't wake you? No. No. I, I just wanted to check on the little ones. How are they? They're fine. Perfect angels. They went to bed, no problem. Okay, good. <sighs> Listen, um, I love your new house, but the clown in my room. No offense, but I hate it. Oh, God, which one now? The big one. Which one? You know, the really big one. I'm not sure which one you mean. The one that sits in the chair. You know, it's life-size. The really, really big one. You have him propped up in that rocking chair. Tabby, what, what are you talking about? In the guest bedroom with all the other clowns. The one bigger than me. We, we don't own anything like that. Yeah, you do. Listen, we got life-size right statues of John Wayne and Frank Sinatra, but not a clown. This scene will teach ya. Don't talk to strangers, especially if they have headgear on. It's a metal scope Victrola. Oh. It's very old and priceless. What's it do? What does it do? Well, it plays a song, and at the end, you get a surprise. <laughs> well, go on, try it. Oh, no, that's, 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 that's okay. Try it. Okay. 
<laughs> Where did you find this thing? Well, I come from a long line of entertainers and performers. You know, lovers of the laugh. This is the biggest glory hole I've ever seen. Oh yeah, yeah, and, and, and shoots fire from his hands. <laughs> I toot it. Oh. <laughs> me. Boys, listen to me. We have to find. There's a bad man, a very bad man in the house. He just wants to play. <sighs> you picked the wrong convoy, buddy. <laughs> it's funny, right? <laughs>